All right, so I'm on a bit of a mission today. I'm gonna to be making my own DIY jump guards for my six foot tank. At the moment, I have my lights just sitting on a thin sheet of plastic on both sides. It's not ideal, it looks super ugly and just messy. So I'm actually getting some new lights. A massive thank you to my follower that is very, very kindly gifting those to me. So they're gonna be hanging from on top of my tank. So I wanna get rid of all of this on top, just have some nice, jump guards on top, um, which I'm going to hopefully be making today. But anyway, that's my mission. Right, so we're gonna head off to my local hardware store. I've measured the tank. We're gonna do two sides, um, so two halves. Um, but yeah, that's my mission today. We are gonna make this happen. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so you wanna to go to your fly screen area in your hardware store, and I'm gonna grab a few of those long black poles and a few of these corners. So I'll get two packets of them. So you wanna get yourself some spline and a spline tool if you don't have one already. And I went into the garden section and got this sort of mesh that is super workable and the holes aren't too big either. So that'll be perfect. All right, so I've got four of these lengths, which well and truly, they're longer than the actual tank. So um, we're gonna cut them to size now outside and see how we go. Alright, so once we've got that sorted, we're going to put the corners in and make our rectangles out of the uh, lengths we've just cut. So essentially we're going to be putting one end in there and then the other end in the other side. Alright, now that we've got our frames made, I'm going to go ahead and work the mesh into the grooves on the tracks. Um, just like you would a fly screen um, and yeah, just cut it to length and we will see how they turn out. Alright, so just the same as if you were doing your fly screen, you want to sort of make sure you got yourself covered well and truly and then you can just cut off any excess at the end. Go in through the corners. So you're using the tool to uh, force it into the groove there. All right, now we've got that. We just go ahead and cut off the excess. And basically go ahead and do exactly the same thing with the second one. Now for the moment of truth. Not gonna lie, I am actually pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was gonna be an epic fail, but I quite like it. So I've still got my little gap here, which is good because I've got the bracket for the lights going on there. So I made sure I made an allowance for that. And you can see my um, hacking skills aren't the greatest, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got room for my pipes to come through at the back. Very happy with how that's come out. All right, so that cost me $60 to do that, which is crazy. Cause if I was to buy a kit to do that for the six foot tank, it would cost at least double that, which is crazy. So really, really happy with how that came out. Um, and the good thing about it being black mesh as well, my mate Mikey pointed out, is that it won't get that reflection like the white or the clear stuff does. So it's gonna be super cool to see how it goes with the new lights on there. And with my new build, I am still waiting on my return pump skimmer, all the necessities, I guess, for it. So COVID has really delayed it, unfortunately, but um, I'll definitely let you know as soon as we can get that full, and running and yeah, I'll definitely keep you posted on that. But thank you so much for watching everyone and we will see you next time.